Hey, I am back for another Scirocco restoration video. Woohoo! As I've said before, I'm just an average guy with a garage and some tools trying to bring back to life a car that means a lot to me. Drove this thing off the lot, brand new in 1986, and can't wait to get her back on the road. All right, so let's see, the last video, I finally, finally got the fuel injector inserts and insulators put in probably made that a much bigger deal than it needed to be, but I followed the shop manuals and got it in nevertheless. After I picked up the cylinder head from the shop, uh, again I noticed, I mentioned this earlier, I noticed that the uh, cam belt uh, wheel up on the top was loose. Uh, they had not torqued that uh, initial bolt in, and when I reached out to the shop and asked them, they said that's standard procedure. Serious? Um, I pulled that off, and lo and behold, I'm glad I did, because the cam oil seal was missing. What? So I looked at the box of stuff that the uh, shop had given me back that they had taken off uh, when they started to work on the cylinder head, and one of the things that was in that box is the camshaft oil seal. Uh, unfortunately, they did not purchase a new one, and they did not install a new one. Um, so I'm glad that I took that uh, upper uh, pulley off. Um, that would have been a mess if we would have found it, or not found it. So uh, this video is just a quick one to go through what I did to install a new one. A uh, new camshaft oil seal, it's not that hard of a, a process, especially if you have the head off. Um, and then, uh, while I was in there, and the fact that that one main bolt was not torqued down, I went through and just did some other stuff uh, that you'll see, uh, making sure that all the rest of the torques were where they should be. Appreciate everybody that stops by and watches. I do have a ton of new videos coming out. Uh, just haven't gotten around to getting the final edits put on those. I am making progress. We're getting closer, so I uh, hope you enjoy this one. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey, if this is the first time that you've uh, reached my channel, I appreciate it. Um, if you like the content, I'd appreciate it if maybe you give me a, a like, or if you really like it, you can hit a subscribe and hit that bell and hope that it'll notify you when I uh, post new content. Um, for those of you that have been along for the ride uh, since the beginning, I really do appreciate all of your support. I appreciate it when you all leave a comment, and I really appreciate it when you uh, send photos of your project. So um, I will do my best to answer any of the comments that are, that are down there. Uh, some of the comments are beyond me, but I'll do my best if uh, I, I can share my experiences. But at any rate, I appreciate everybody that stopped by and supported me while I've been trying to get this old girl back on the road. All right, so let's get into it. All right, in the never-ending saga of this cylinder head, uh, one of the previous episodes, I got the injector inserts in and was getting ready to button this thing up. And luckily, I did a quick inspection and noticed that there's no oil seal. What? Um, so when they did this, uh, cleaned up the cylinder head, did the valve job, adjusted everything, uh, provided me a box with old parts that they took out, and lo and behold, here's the seal, but they didn't put a new seal on. Exactly. Oh, well, I'm glad I figured that one out. So, uh, this episode, I guess we're going to put a new seal on. <laughs> Now, I guess there's two ways to do this. Uh, you can get, take your new seal and pound it in. Basically, from what I read. And I've got a PVC end cap. I saw this on a, another uh, YouTube channel with the guy that does all Subarus. And that fits pretty nicely right on the seal. So I could pound this thing in. Um, the fact that this seal is missing, um, I have to wonder about these caps if they're torqued down correctly. So what I'm just going to do is the other way to put that seal on is to loosen up all of these um, camshaft caps 
enough where you can pull the cam up slightly, slip the new seal on the end, and then when I put these back down, I will be confident that I've torqued them down to the right spec and the new seal on. So when I take these caps off, they are numbered. Um, all of them are facing a certain orientation. I noticed from previous uh, video when we took the cylinder head off that they did put them back in the right position and they did put them in the correct order. So there's a number that's stamped on the top of this cap. This is one. This is number two, number three, number four, and number five. So those were put back on correctly. Like I said, I'm just going to loosen these to the point where I can lift this up slightly and get a new seal on and then torque them back down. So that's uh, this video, putting on a new oil seal. Let's begin. Okay, so I have turned cylinder head around so that I've got one, two, three, four, and five from left to right. And then based on what I've read in the manual, to loosen up these caps um, in order to do it correctly, um, it says to remove the nuts and washers from one, three, and five first and then go back and loosen the nuts on two and four a little bit at a time uh, to gradually reduce the spring tension uh, from the valve springs until the caps are loose. Okay, and then we should be able to move this slightly uh, and put the new seal on and then the installation um, is basically to make sure that you've got uh, lubrication on these caps and I went out and got some royal purple uh, assembly lube gigantic bottle of lube and I'll make sure that these are lubed correctly and then the installation it says is to install two and five gradually turning each of these uh, nuts a quarter turn at a time when they start to really engage until they're seated and at that time I'll be able to move this back and forth to make sure that it, it is seated uh, centered and then install three and four in the same way sort of at a quarter turn at a time until it's seated and then install the number one cap but don't tighten it down and then when you're at that point uh, the assembly procedure basically says to work in a cross pattern and tighten two and four to 14 foot-pounds uh, that's out of the Haynes manual the Bentley says 15 so I'll probably just do 15 so two and four in a cross pattern to 14 and then do three and five in a cross pattern to 15 foot-pounds and then finally finishing off with the the number one cap so, um, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see, and by the way, these nuts are, on the top of these caps, are a 13 millimeter. So I've just got a long bar. Again, I, I hope that they torque these down to the right spec. I don't know, but I'm just going to loosen them up and then I'll put them back down with the lube on and then I will know that they're fine. So, we'll start off by removing the nuts and washers from one, three, and five. And I guess I'll probably maybe do a, a cross hatch pattern, although it didn't say that. I'm not sure, well, I guess we'll just see. Okay, not too bad. Do a little bit here.
Well, oh, so I guess I don't. No washer on this? No, there's no washer on these. Nuts! <laughs> Loosen nuts on two and four a little at a time to release spring tension. Two and four. Okay, these are loose now. Okay, so there's the end cap with number one off. I'll get the new seal. New seal will basically just go on like such. And also this allows me to take this number one. Gotta look out for number one. And I've read and seen other folks that say that it's a good idea to put a very thin layer of RTV. on this surface uh, to prevent sort of leakage down past here. Leaks won't hold me back. So I will take the opportunity to do that as well when I reassemble this. So these are loosened a little bit. They're not moving. Uh, I guess there is still positive upward pressure from the, the valve springs. And by all tokens, I don't think I really need to move this up. I think just taking this top cap off was enough to get enough space to get this, this is the old one, but to get a new seal pressed in there with a little bit of ease of not having to worry about this, this top cap. Oh shit, Sherlock! So, uh, let's do that next. All right, so here's the end of the camshaft. I've got a brand new seal uh, ready to go. Um, the flat side is out, so this cup side will be pushed in over the camshaft itself. And this is where this nice uh, tool or modified tool is going to come into play. Uh, it's going to fit right on here. And although I don't think I'm going to need it, I'll be able to drive this in um, so that the seal will fit perfectly. And then we'll put the top cap on with some RTV and torque them all down and that should be good to go. Uh, but first things first, let me get uh, the Royal Purple assembly lube. Lube! Or you pick the lube of your choice. That's what she said! <laughs> And we'll make sure that there's plenty of lube on the outside of this um, end of the cam as well as on the inside of this uh, seal. Okay, so I guess I really didn't need that tool. Um, it just does really fit very easily over the edge. You can see that this seal goes back as far as it can within the machine space. It's limited. There we go. Um, looks like it's in place. It's going back as far as it needs to go. That's a new seal. Um, I will get this thing rotated around and then we can put the caps back on and that should be a quick fix for an oil seal. All right, assembly. Two and five, gradually tightening a quarter turn until seated. Two and five.
So I'm trying to be very careful and make sure that that I'm drawing down both sides, this side and then the other side, drawing them down uh, to maintain the gap as well as over here. So here's the gap and then on the other side there's the gap as well. Okay, now I've met resistance on each of these. Yeah, the slack has been taken up and I've met resistance. So I've done the quarter turns on two and five until they're seated. So now both of these, I felt resistance on all four of them. Uh, next to be done, it says, is to do three and four quarter turn until seated. Okay, so I've got three and four done. Um, now the instructions say to do install number one, which is the one that's next to the seal. Install number one. Don't step at number two. I'm going to put a little bit of RTV on here. Uh, I've got some uh, gasket maker, uh, oil resistant. And I'll put just a tiny dab along the sealing surface on both sides. And then install number one, but don't tighten. So basically we're talking about putting just a tiny dab on this outside surface. Okay, now with the top cap on, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Install number one, but don't tighten. Working in a cross pattern, tighten two and four to 15 foot pounds. Okay, all those are done. Now, do three and five to the same. I'm just gonna do a little at a time. Try to bring them down equally. And then finally, number one. Okay, that should be it.